Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Thorson, Senior Product Manager for Drafting Assistant at Thomson Reuters and a licensed attorney in the state of Minnesota. This is my ninth year with the company and we are located in our Egan headquarters here in Minnesota. In this ongoing series of videos, we'll be taking a look at some of the tools and features within Thomson Reuters Drafting Assistant and how you can incorporate those tools into your workflow to improve accuracy and efficiency. Today we're going to be taking a look at the flags and links feature. Flags and links refers to our key site flags and hyperlinks. When you use flags and links, you have the option of inserting both into the document or you can insert just one depending on your needs. With flags and links, you would be able to set up a profile and that profile would dictate how your links are inserted. If you only want to link and flag cases within the document, you have the choice of only processing certain content types. You can also exclude short form citations that may have already been linked in long form. If you are a KM subscriber, you can also see how your colleagues have cited the same legal authorities. We'll see how that integration works once we process the document. I'm going to click to insert both flags and links into my document. As the document is being processed, citations will be identified and key site flags associated with those citations will be added to my document to the left of each citation. There will also be a hyperlink so you can jump to that document on Westlaw. Now that we have our site list, you'll see on the left hand side of the screen, I have a couple of different options. I can filter my list to just view citations of a certain type, or I can download my entire citation list. I'm going to view the filter now so we can go over some of the key site flags that you'll see in the program. You have the red flag, yellow flag, a green C, and a blue H. There is also a newer key site flag, a blue and white striped flag. The yellow flag is an indication that the cited document has some negative treatment. If it is a case, there could be another court out there that is disagreeing with it, but they are not directly overruling it. If it is a statute or regulation, there could be a pending change that, if passed, could impact that citation. A red flag is an indication that there is direct negative treatment. For cases, that opinion is no longer good for at least one point of law. For some jurisdictions, we will also add a red flag if it is an unpublished decision and the rules of the jurisdiction require that cases that are unpublished may not be cited. For statutes or regulations, a pending change could now be final or the statute could be declared unconstitutional by a particular court. A blue and white flag is going to be an indication to you that an appeal is pending. The green C simply means that there are positive citing references available and the blue H indicates to you that there is direct history. Nothing negative, but that we just have some history for that case on Westlaw. This could be a lower court decision or a denied appeal. At the end of some of these links, you will see the KM abbreviation, which is associated with my KM server. That is going to be an indication to you that there are internal documents within your KM server that others within your firm have drafted that cite to these same cases, statutes, or rules. Instead of just seeing how other courts have cited these authorities, you can also see how other attorneys within your firm have cited and look at their work product for these particular issues. On the left side of the screen, you'll get a list of the citations that were found, and you'll be able to use the links to navigate to different citations within the document. All of the flags within the document are clickable. If I wanted to see why that red flag is associated with the Rizzo versus Kretschmer case, I can click on the link and it's going to take me over to Westlaw, and I can find out that the Rizzo case has been superseded by statute. If you click on any of the KM flags, it will take you into your KM repository so you can view the documents that cite specifically to Celotex, for example. Going back to my document, you may want to remove those flags and links from your document, which you can do from the main profile screen. However, if the document is saved with the embedded flags, you'll be able to rerun the document at a later date and be alerted if any of those flags have changed since the document was last run. Thanks for your time and attention. I hope this has been a helpful overview of Drafting Assistant. Look for additional videos in this series focusing on other tools and features so that you can get the most out of Drafting Assistant. If you have any questions or would like free one-on-one -on -one training, please contact your account team or the reference attorneys who are available 24-7.